Here's how to recover data from a hard drive if your computer has died. Now this only works if your hard drive is still good but something's wrong with the computer like the motherboard or the power supply or something else has gone out. So this one had a power surge and uh, we don't know if it fried the power supply or the motherboard or what but it's kind of an old computer so we just want to get the data out of the hard drive and into another computer. So first you take the hard drive out. I recommend taking a picture of what it looks like before you start messing with it so that you'll know how to put it back together in the case that you want to put it back together. And to know what kind of connectors you have, if you look at the connector right next to the connector on the motherboard, it says SATA, S-A-T-A. So it'll tell you what kind of connection that is. Most modern computers, new ones are gonna have a SATA connection, which looks like this on the hard drive. And the cable looks like this. So it's just a little cable with sort of an L-shaped uh, L-shaped groove in it. So let's see what's in this box. All right, in the box we get a power supply, a hard drive enclosure, USB 2 cord. There are USB 3 versions. If you have USB 3, you can go with that. A little stand and some screws and a screwdriver. So basically, real simple. You pop the thing open. It's got a power cord that hooks up to the power connector on your hard drive, and it's got a SATA connector that goes to the SATA part of your drive. Now, ideally, you'd want to have a, a anti-magnetic wrist strap on and be, you know, making sure that you don't short anything out on the hard drive. So you just plug in your power and plug in the SATA connector. Got it upside down. Huh, let's twist it. Okay. And then sort of convince the whole thing to go into here. Now you don't have to put it into the enclosure for it to work, but it's a good idea to do it just to keep it safe. And then use a couple of screws on the side there to shut it. So we'll do that and then we'll plug it into a computer and see if it works. All right, so the drive is in there. I've got it plugged into power. So then I turn it on, a little green light comes on. And there's a USB cable plugged into the drive. So I put the drive on top of my computer here, plug it into one of the available USB ports. And then the magic happens. Dun, dun, dun. Open folder to view files. Voila, so that's good. So that means that they'll be able to get in there and get uh, whatever stuff. Continue. Whatever stuff they've got on the drive.